<laughs> what is going on guys so we are here to finish up this gold so i did do a couple of cleanups on this um i did a hydrochloric bath um a couple of those some distilled water baths and then i did an ammonia rinse on it and then some more distilled water baths so i will do all of that again after we drop it this this first go around um so you you will get to see that that process um but kind of just just to expedite this video um i did it off screen so here we go we're gonna go ahead and dump some hydrochloric acid in here gonna go right into aqua regia with this uh that's about a half ounce let's see We're going to go up to 300. There we go. All right. Grab the nitric acid. We're going to grab a new pipe bath for this guy. Six and we'll start with nine. All right, then we'll throw this right up on the heat. See if we can get some good views of uh, of this gold dissolving here. All right, we've got all of this gold in solution. Nine mils of nitric and 300 mils of hydrochloric acid. All right, let's go ahead and grab this off here. Beautiful orange solution. Man, look at that. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, well, next step here is, uh, let's see if we have any leftover nitric A little reaction there Go ahead and throw that back up on the heat. And what I added here for the denoxing is sulfamic acid. And that actually turns that nitric acid into sulfuric acid which will also drop any lead that's present. So, I am gonna add just a little bit more sulfuric acid, just to make sure that we do have all of the lead dropped out. Um, let's see, I'm actually gonna do that here. Sometimes you get a good, pretty good, cool, or a cool looking uh, reaction if there's any lead in it. There shouldn't be at this point. This is the second time we've done anything. Which I do not see. Oh, 
All right, which means it's going back up on the heat. All right, so we've got this cooled down uh, and ready to roll to be filtered. I did have to clean my beaker out. Um, I should say my flask. It's been a minute since uh, I've used it and I just wanted to verify it was good to go. So I just did like a quick distilled water bath with it um, along with a little bit of nitric acid just in case there was anything kind of stuck to the side from the evaporation process. So we got it nice and clean, ready to roll. And this solution stayed crystal clear too. So I think uh, I think we're gonna be pretty good in that department. All right, now to clean my beaker so we have something uh, clean to put our gold in. All right, that didn't take long. Kinda be, uh, definitely was expecting that. Just how clear this solution is. Man, it looks beautiful. Woohoo! This is gonna be an excellent gold drop. Yeah, let's go like this. Yeah, we're just one more time. The solution is really thick. You can see it just sticking to the side of the beaker. <laughs> this is going to be a good one. All right. Let's spray this uh, funnel up here a little bit. See if we can get any of that gold off the sides. And try to get as much of it as we can off the uh, the filter. There we go. And we're just going to let that suck down for a little bit. Let's get a good vacuum going on here. Um, yeah, I'd say a uh, half hour. We'll come and check on it. And uh, yeah, swap it over. I'll have to reheat it again just a little bit. And this time we're going with SMB for the drop. So we should have a really cool reaction. Uh, it's almost immediate in comparison to the uh, ferrous sulfate anyway. All right, here we go. All right, so I did put it back up on the heat just to uh, get everything to settle faster. And look at that beautiful clear solution. All right, well, I don't think we have to test this just to how clear that solution is, but we got to do it anyways. So, the scientific straw. All right, let's get a little sample of that. And just like that, nothing. All right, so that tells me all of our gold is out. But hold on, let's, uh, let's get a quick test sample in here. Because I haven't, I haven't touched this stuff in a while. So, let's just verify. There, nope.
All right, just like that. She's still good to go. Perfect. Well, I'm gonna let this cool down a little bit. I didn't have it uh, scorching hot. Uh, I'm like about half, so the black line here is where I typically keep it. So right up top here is the, the actual line. So I'm like about halfway. Wow, look at that glove shot. <laughs> Who's the rookie? Oh man, look at that. Nice chunk of gold there at the bottom, that's for sure. And like that, nice, oh. Very clean, no question about that clumps up really nicely together beautiful all right let's get to cleaning this up I don't know if you can see this settle all down to the bottom we do have a couple of floaters though we can't have that no floaters so we're just gonna break the surface tension with a quick little blast. Let that drop. So just be careful with this because when you spray this stuff, you get a lot of the fumes that come up and out of it. So just be careful because that stuff is n not good. All right, no more floaters. All right, a little hydrochloric acid or muriatic acid. You can see it says hydrochloric underneath there. And then just a quick blast on the side to get any of that gold into, into our acid there. Make sure it's all getting cleaned up. And of course, throw it on the heat. All right, let's grab this gold here. It's got to be looking good. I can see the solution. I can see the acid. And I don't think you can see it quite yet. And it is still crystal clear -hoo -hoo. look at that we didn't pick up anything out of that one excellent all right well let's let this cool off here a little bit before I go ahead and pour it into the, uh, the stock pot hot liquid and glass uh, not a good idea Man, does that look good though?
All right. This gold is spick and span. It has gone through a number of distilled water boils, distilled water rinses, a couple hydrochloric rinses and boils along with some ammonia boils. So this is definitely going to be the cleanest gold that I have come up with yet. I'm really excited to get a weight on it after all said and done. So next step, let's go ahead and put it on the heat plate and uh, start dehydrating it. There we go. All right. It's going to take quite a while. I'm not going to go crazy with the heat. Um, I don't want what little moisture is there that's left inside our beaker to boil because when it boils, all of a sudden you start spurting up that gold and uh, we want to make sure that it's well maintained on the bottom and all we're doing is removing the water. All right. We have it all evaporated up and ready to roll. Let's take a peek at this. Oh, it looks beautiful. <laughs> this is going to be great. All right, well, nothing to it but to do it. Let's get this melt up. And a final weight of gold. Oh, it's going to be great. And there it is. Let's get a weight on that bad boy. Fifteen point oh five grams. Man, is that gorgeous or what? Look at those poor lines. Woo! And there we have it. Another chunk of gold in the box. So I would typically go like this and be showing it off because I'd be really excited to have it, but it's not mine. It is not mine. That is that job that I uh, that the gentleman sent me, um, and I can't thank him enough for trusting me to do this for him. That was uh, you know that was a big chunk of gold. That was a lot of money, um, and it is sent to him right now on the way. So yeah, again, thank you so much for uh, trusting me to do that. It was a really fun project. And I still have your silver to do. So I also just want to do a quick shout out and say thank you uh, for your patience. Because uh, life is pretty crazy right now here at the Silver Stole Residence. <laughs> so that's all I got for you guys today. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you on the next one.